today's conversation, we have Professor Manfred Novak, who is the independent expert leading the United Nations Global Study on Children Deprived of Liberty. Welcome to today's conversation. Thank you very much. As I said, I'm very happy to be here celebrating 20 years of the African Master in Human Rights and Democracy and also having our first General Assembly of the Global Campus of Human Rights here in, in Pretoria. Now we're moving from a part where we have to observe children's rights to a place where we're focusing on a study that focuses on children deprived of liberty. So can you explain to us what that really means? It's a very broad uh, way of seeing children not primarily as objects of duties but as subjects of rights as rights holders and yes. that's the paradigm shift mm -hmm. and there are many areas for instance uh, there was Casa Magel uh, she did a first global study on children in armed conflict which had a major impact on child soldiers mm -hmm. the way how the Security Council deals with these issues and it had a positive impact there are less child soldiers today than yeah. 20 years mm -hmm. ago now in okay. 2006 we had a second global study by Paulo Sergio Pinheiro a very well known Brazilian um, human rights professor uh, on violence against children and that is all forms of violence in the streets, violence in the family, in schools, in institutions etc. Um, and he also said that uh, of course if children are deprived of liberty then the risk of being subject to physical, mental, sexual violence is biggest. You did mention also that um most of the institutionalized violence obviously is, is behind closed doors. What was the reception of these institutions to letting you, you know, figure out what was going on at hand? Were governments open to, you know, letting these findings out there, you know? What, what, what were your general challenges when you were carrying out these yeah. studies? This has been Africa Rights Talk with me, Tatenda Musina Hamai. Join us in our other episodes as we continue to explore other human rights issues.